Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator Cakes and Cookies DLC. This is day 5, and we have a special order, the Red Velvet Cake, which is one of our recipes, so we can just follow the recipe, and as you can tell from my speed of speaking, I failed so many times. This is a re-recording, because so many things failed. For example, you knock something over, even though you shouldn't have knocked it over. You use the oval cake pan, and it says, no, it's not oval cake pan, but it requires the oval cake pan. And because you use the oval cake pan, you have up to 6 plus 6, 12 servings, and it requires 16, up to 36 servings. So you fill the servings but because of the oval cake pan. For example, you use the round cake pan, three crust, one filling, three crust, one filling, and that gives 18. 18 of them too, happens to be 36, which is still within the limits, but then again, that's out of the topic. You still fail anyways. The round one, at least you get the servings right. So we are going to use the round one. We're not going to experiment with other cake pans, or maybe we can use a square one. We'll see how it goes. Then again, you topple things, you get the things wrong, forget to change coffee to coca, and I got that wrong too. We have two hours and 15 minutes in game time. That's not a lot of time, and we have to start with pinning the recipe here. Oh my god, man. I kept repeating again and again, but it still keeps on failing. Look at this, okay? We have the active order to. 250 plus already, okay? Two, we can fulfill these two. So two layers, because that's why times two, okay? Two layers. And these, we'll fail this, we'll fail this. Sometimes we even fail this for whatever reason, we still fail this one. But anyways, um, I think it's because of the coffee instead of the coca. So that one, very important. Right, we need to bring the red dye with us because we need this. And uh, yeah, don't topple anything. Just don't topple anything. Just. I don't even know why it keeps on toppling, but just don't, okay? Just just be real careful. Even though we're in a rush, just be real, real careful. We need the hook, so let's put that on first before we start the first step. I don't know, this is like the 10th re-record, so I am really annoyed. But I still cannot remember the recipe. That's very unfortunate. Get coca, and then we have 5 grams baking powder, 2 grams salt. The more I rush, the worse it is, actually. Ah, one whole morning of re-recording. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, I need to be here, because this is 5. And then salt is 2. Yeah, it's gonna topple, right? 3, okay, that's fine. 3 salt is okay. Just don't have more than two grams extra. Butter and uh, this one. Butter, butter, butter. We have a butter here. Yeah. I forgot, even though it's a re record. Right, anyways. I had a 100 100 cut. Can we get that again? I don't know. Will we get that? No. <laughs> this time around, it's not so good. But it's okay. Granulated sugar, 200 grams. We'll get that. Next, we need eggs. So, um, we can mix those things up first, then we get the egg, and then put those in. And then I'll talk about the yolk splitter. The knob is here, so always come this side. Let's get the egg yolk. Okay, if you want to get rid of the egg white, you need to make sure the top piece has been removed. Otherwise, you may end up discarding the yolk splitter if there's no yolk in the top piece. So when you want to get rid of it, make sure you remove the top piece and then you can get rid of the egg white. Okay, put these in here. Get rid of the top piece. Then, if you can just get rid of the white, you can. Otherwise, you can just pick up the shells too. Okay, that's good enough. Then we need to add the vanilla extract, the yolk and white vinegar. Vanilla extract. 5 ml. Okay, vanilla extract is very strong, so 1 ml too much is way too much. I've repeated this many times, but yeah. For real life, vanilla extract is kind of concentrated, so you don't want to add too much. Not even 1 ml. This one... The meter gets covered by the top sometimes, so be very careful when adding this. Okay, get the egg yolk. Okay, mix it with the petal. The yolk is in there, good. 
and then add to it red dye and sunflower oil is here red dye is here I'm glad I brought it over here 20 ml red dye also 1 ml too much is way too much so be real careful with this one as well almond milk and the sunflower oil those are fine you can have one two three four five ml difference is still not so bad but not the extract or the dye Okay, a little too much there. Okay, it's 101, but if you pour, I think it's 100. Yeah, it is. So, like a base game, there's some issues with that. Almond milk. Let's close the fridge. Again, 100. Oh, it was a little too much there. 103. No, 113, I think. Okay, 101, if I'm not mistaken. Even if it's 101, like I said, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. We need the flour mixture. That was where I failed here on the very last attempt. And pour carefully because if you have anything missing, that's also bad. Good. Good. Mix it up. That's done. Let's get the cream cheese and the butter. Butter, cream cheese. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the complexity of the decoration. It's supposed to be a masterpiece, but I'm still new to this. I don't know what qualifies as a masterpiece, so I probably will not decorate just to prevent the hashtags from being wrong or something. I don't even know. Yeah, I think the hashtag went wrong previously. Okay, anyways, uh, granulated sugar, vanilla extract, and almond milk. Granulated sugar. I, I, I'm just suddenly, like, lost. Vanilla extract. Okay, vanilla extract. Go in there first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, don't do six. Very important. Almond milk, 15. Okay, it's fine. Even if it's like 14. I believe when we pour, it's going to be 14. Yeah, it is. Well, that's okay. 2 grams of salt. And then granulated sugar, 250. Two fifty. So start with this one, and then we can start baking already. This part is also very important. Don't transfer it wrongly. Don't accidentally click too much. Don't right click on it. Otherwise, things will go bad. Just get fifty like that. Okay, fifty. Good enough. There it is. Yeah, 250. Good enough. There we go. Vanilla extract is already in there, so it's okay. Red velvet filling, that's good. So now, we need to be real careful with this. I think we'll go for... I don't know, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the square tin. Let's see how much we'll get out of square tin. Do we have a square tin there? No, we don't. Not here. Where's my square tin? Square tin? Not here either. Where's the square tin? It's here. Square cake pan. I mean, it's not round either. It's not oval either because oval doesn't work. You know what? I don't even know anymore. Let's see. Red velvet cake. Let's take a look. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna not risk it. Not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's use the round one, even if it fails the oval one. Of course it's gonna fail anyway, so. Alright, so what I've done is I've prepared the dough, but this time round, I'm going to try with the round cake pan again. And possibly not use the oval one just like put this in here like that 
like maybe two no maybe one i think or rather no because one won't work so one two three four four and then four like one one in ratio so it's like four four so i think that's all right yeah let's do that four four in ratio okay and then 174 50. there then we're going to have two layers right they want two layers so let's hold on for a moment i have already used one round cake pan so for the next one that's coming up please use the oval cake pan eventually i will use the oval cake pan but the original recording here was the round cake pan please ignore this and use the oval cake pan again same ratio this time round, it's whatever this is, three. I think three will do. 15, that's 35. Ooh, that was really close. Okay, 20 plus 15, 35. 410, 170. Oh my god, no, 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 no. And then 170, 410. There. So we'll bake this and I'm going to cut forward until it looks almost the same. It's still called the red velvet cake. And if you were to check, it still has the red velvet cake here. And this one, which is slightly thinner, has the same look as well. Like that. See? Same one. Alright, okay. I'm going to cut forward. I'm just going to design it. I had to reload because obviously there were some issues with that and I had to pin this here so that this doesn't affect it and it's here we can just hand it over now and if you look at this it's red velvet there masterpiece and then we have round and oval oval is not within the first few but we have red velvet first which means that the game is likely going to check okay you have one that satisfy the conditions which is uh, over here so if it checks that okay it has one that satisfies the condition it will check that everything else that satisfies the condition exists and that will be good enough it has to all exist for some reason so once it exists it's okay but the first one must be the first which is the red velvet one so if it doesn't the rest even though i don't know maybe anyone if oval is in front it will work too maybe who knows okay let's see the serving will be fine too. We have that. Here it is. Ta da! There we have it. All of them satisfied. And in fact, this result is actually worse. When we had a lot of like decorations and all that stuff to get the masterpiece. Not only did we not fulfill this, we still failed the rest. So it seems like the game checks for one to be right in front. It could be something else. I'm just thinking it could be this in front, but when we got the masterpiece, it wasn't in front, so it didn't check for this. But I suspect that it could be this in front and it will still work as long as this and this exist. Possible. There's no way to get the others in front though because these are not significant. Like oval masterpiece, those aren't exactly very significant and it was by luck that I found out how to get red velvet in front by adding all of these uh, um, tags and whatnot, like, you know, the by adding the frosting, this one. So, yeah, it was by luck. But then again, at least I found that it works like that. And uh, we could go through a few more days and prove that it really does work like this. But for now, though, we don't have a failed order it's not our fault that it failed you know even if it did because look at what happened wow thankfully <laughs> it's now perfect okay the previous one pan shaped it exists these two they exist and that's good enough the servings wouldn't work one layer definitely not gonna work so yeah the servings won't work but at least we get the rest so it will be quite hard to get a balance. Maybe, maybe. No, wait, hang on. No, because it's only one layer. It's either you get the long one and it fails to work or you get the servings one. And... All right, that's it for this episode. It's really long. If you watch all the way to here, thank you so much for watching. 
I'll see you next episode.